Welcome, sisters, to Praying Like Jesus. There are four weeks of lessons for us and five weeks for you to have amazing small group time. This is going to be an incredible journey where we will grow in prayer, all from the life and teachings of Jesus. We will look at when Jesus prayed, what he taught about prayer, what he prayed, and how he prayed. But right now, let's think about what. What is prayer? Prayer is not a duty that we're gonna perform from our spiritual checklist. And prayer is not just a means to fulfill all those wishes and wants. And prayer is not this last ditch effort when we get in a pinch. It's so much more. What is prayer? The most basic understanding for prayer is it's speaking and listening to God. And in its truest form, prayer is meant to be intimate, loving connection with your Creator, Savior, and Heavenly Father. And this is why we pray, because prayer is relational. At its core, at its foundation, Prayer is about love because God loved us and made us his very children. So, you know, when you think about the disciples asking Jesus to teach them to pray, how did Jesus begin? He began, our Father in heaven. That's where prayer begins. That's what it's all about, is a father-child connection relationship, knowing God as our heavenly Father who loves us so much. And so yes, when we better understand this idea that prayer at its core is relational, then we will be able to avoid so many of those struggles that can come with our efforts to pray. Let's think about some of these prayer problems that we can find ourselves in. First, there's just the guilt that so many people can feel. How many of you have felt the guilt in prayer that maybe you just don't feel like you pray enough or do it right? There's distraction because you just can't seem to focus and get still. There's apathy that comes with prayer. You don't feel like your prayers are making a difference. All this uncertainty when you pray. That brings me to the idea of that we get so discouraged when we pray and we pray and we don't see any changes. And then there's doubt that comes, our unbelief that enters into prayer. So we just don't pray as we should. For me, prayer can feel overwhelming because there are so many things on my prayer list to pray about that I don't even know where to begin. And then there's just going to God in an inauthentic way. We're not really connecting. We're being fake. We're making it a show or a ritual, or maybe you're trying to feel good about yourself, so it's really about self-righteousness. So these are problems that we have with prayer that leads us to a place where we get to where we're not praying, we're not listening, we're not drawing near because prayer has been such a struggle. So I want you to think about this, the beautiful promises that happen, the experience of prayer when you take the time to truly connect with your Father who loves you. When you enter into prayer as a simple, humble child, you experience the peace of God, the guidance of God, the contentment that comes from His presence, the joy that comes from His Spirit. You experience strength and renewal and rest for your soul. Intimacy with God comes through prayer. Spiritual growth comes through prayer. And what I love to know and remember is that my prayer, your prayer, it pleases God. He wants us to know Him. He wants us to have relationship. So like the writers of Hebrews said to us, let us then with confidence draw near. (laughs) 
Let's draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I look forward to seeing you guys next week when we look at pursuing God with our whole heart.